quarter of a mile. Over 600 miles an hour comes the Super Hornet. Part of the tactical advantage, ladies and gentlemen, is that the airplane will get here before the sound does. I want you to watch and I want you to listen. Here comes the Super Hornet. The bird is lit and we're ready to go high speed.
maneuver. We'll see if he accomplishes that. Going to roll the airplane to the inverter. And fly the show line upside down. To the knife edge, 93, full cars. Back on the stick now. Once again, rolling to the left, turning to the right. Rolling 270 degrees to the left. This should be the high alpha pass showing you the slow speed capability and the onboard computers to handle the F-18 Hornet, the Super Hornet. Well, notice how high the nose gets in the air. If you look very closely, you probably can see the elevators on the tail, the computers working the elevators, keeping this nose high in the air. No other jet aircraft would dare to try to fly this slow. The Super Hornet. Once he reaches the 
say speed starts to deploy the flaps and slats on the airplane, lowers the landing gear, and if we were coming aboard the boat, the tail hook as well as he sets up for his landing. Only 46 feet wide, 61 feet long, has a combat radius of over 500 nautical miles. Those are GE F414 jet engines developing almost 22,000 pounds of thrust each. And with the humidity in the air, we get some good vapor trails out of them. Those are the nose of the, the, the aircraft in the cockpit you saw as he went by at about 600 miles an hour. Watch how he lands, not so much, no flare to it, just plants the airplane onto the runway as though he were coming aboard the carrier. It's more of a controlled crash than it is a landing because there's no flare to it whatsoever. Boom, he's on. Force Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Thunderbird. 